Hey guys, welcome to Slay the Spire. Now I know I said I wouldn't be coming back until after the New Year's, but I found this game on Steam, played it a whole bunch, and thought, hey, this is pretty awesome. Essentially, I kind of picture it as a cross between, um, I'm gonna go with Faster Than Light, and Yu-Gi-Oh! maybe, I don't know, it's got card playing aspects, but it's actually a really, really cool game. So you got a cards library here that you can draw from, eventually. Got all kinds of cool stuff. Um, relics and stuff that take into effect. Anyways, um, they currently got two characters here. The Ironclad and the Silent. I don't really like the Silent very much. I'm more about the Ironclad. So I'm going to play this character, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to embark. Uh, what I like a lot about this is burning blood at the end of our combat. When we beat our enemy, we gain six health. So that's actually really, really good. Oh god. Hello again. Choose. Um, so this is kind of a guilt-free... Just give me gold. Thank you. Ooh, so how this works is we can start in one of four places, I guess, and then we go across this map that ultimately leads to a boss fight. Uh, the question marks are unknown. We don't know what we're going to encounter there. Um, these are just going to be normal enemies, question marks to know. Uh, merchants are here. Merchants. Fireplace is where you can rest, where you can upgrade a card, or you can uh, gain health back. Um, these guys right here are elite enemies. They're assholes. I kind of want to hit this fireplace right here. I want to hit this shop, this fireplace. I think I'm going to take this second path, or I can just take two unknowns right off the bat. Three unknowns, and then hit the shopkeeper. Actually, I kind of like that idea. We're just going to hit the three unknowns and then hit the shopkeeper. So how this works is you have a whole bunch of cards. A strike that deals six damage, um, defensive spells that block damage, and then you have three energy. So you see each one of these cards is costing energy and so on. You've got three energy to work with, essentially. Health points, if you run out, you die. The floor you're on. This enemy intends to attack for ten damage, so we're going to block as much damage as we can. So we're going to strike for six. And I have got no more energy left. We're going to end our turn right there. And yeah, we took one damage. I can stomach that. So it looks like he's going to buff himself. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our bash, which is going to imply some vulnerability, which means that we're going to do 50% more damage to him. So I'm going to hit him for a whole bunch. And then instead of this doing six, it's now going to do nine. And I feel pretty good about that. That turn just kind of played itself there. It's going to bellow. So it looks like his attack's going to be increased by three. You know what? We're just going to... We're going to protect as much damage as we can. I've, the end goal here is to take, like, no damage. Or enough that when we're done, we can heal for six. Okay, so... Let's hit him with a... This does apply to Vulnerable, or I could just hit him for 18 and know that next turn I'm going to be able to kill him. So it looks like he put on a shield here, so he can block for 6 damage. Should be able to just kill him with a bash. And that wasn't too bad. What do we get for rewards here? Add a card to your deck. Ooh, this card is really, really good right here. So it allows us to upgrade a card, making it more powerful. Exhaust. I like the sound. Armament is just too good of a card. And keep on trucking here. Ooh, a scenario. Oh, let's see here. And uh, no. Among the stone boulders, you notice a intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold. No, or not doing anything. Just get out of there. Another scenario, please? Yes. Um. No, large hole. Approach the serpent creature appears from within. Yeah, scaly. Ho, 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 ho! Hello, hello. I think you just called me a whore. Hello, adventurer. I ask you a simple question. Disagree. Yep, just get me out of here. 
One more question mark? Okay, this question mark happened to be a thief. And thieves suck because they take money from you. He's gonna hit me for 10 damage. Again, block as much as possible. Ah, good, good, good. But the jerk steals health from you. So I'm gonna augment here. And what an augment does allows us to upgrade a card. So see, now instead of this dealing 6, it deals 9. So it's stupid good. And it gives us a little block. Ugh, taking all my health. If you don't kill him fast enough, he makes off with all your money. And it sucks. Ooh, another one. Yeah, let's just deal a whole bunch of damage to this guy. This game gets a lot cooler once you get towards end. Ugh, that hurt. Once you get towards the end of the, uh, towards the end here. So it looks like I'm just going to have to hit him. So it looks like he's going to shield and then try and get the heck out of here. Yeah, six. So if I can get a couple strikes. Oh, yeah. He's finished. He's done. GG. GG, OMG. I get my gold back, I get 16 gold. Ooh, a poison potion. So I'm gonna be able to throw that at somebody. Let's add a card to our deck. Um, whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. That could be good. Infernal Blade, add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn. That could be really good. I'm trying to roll the dice here. And a store. We got 227 gold. Probably buy something good. Anything really good that I like? This is a good ability. Perfected Strike. That's good. Deals six additional damage, plus two for all of the cards containing Strike. In the word per name, pretty much. Draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. That could be good as well. This is really good, but it's exhausted, so you use it once and it's gone. Bloodletting, not very, not my play style. I want Perfected Strike for sure. I need potions, deal 20 damage, gain 20 block. Don't really need the regen potion. I guess I'll get Thunderclap and I'll get Duck Shackles and we'll make like a tree and leaf. Haha! -ha! Um, I don't really want to fight the epic guy. I kind of want to upgrade a card in my deck. And I'm going to upgrade my Augment. So instead of it upgrading a single card in my hand, it'll upgrade all of them. So that's really, really good. Um, enemy, what do we got? We got uh, Birdman. So he intends to use a buff. Let's hit him, get him vulnerable, and I'm gonna deal slightly less damage to him now to deal a whole bunch later. So I want to make him super vulnerable. My power is unmatched. Good for you. So he's vulnerable for two more turns. Let's do this augment plus. Oh, look at that. He's going to deal 24 damage for everything containing strike. So strike, strike, strike. Oh, 36. Oh, so close. Oh, wait. Oh, he's going to deal damage here. Owie. I, I can stomach one. I can stomach one. Infernal Blade? Let's try this out. Oh, that's good. Deal 10 damage to this enemy if it kills. Three permanent max health. Hell yeah. Three permanent max health. We are getting super lucky. Headbutt, so I could get another perfected strike. Deal 9 damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Could clothesline them, making them weaker. It does cost 2, but I really like this headbutt. We're gonna go with that. And an epic boss fight. Ooh, these guys are fun. This guy's tough. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm first I'm gonna augment up. Then I'm gonna bash him. Be vulnerable for three turns. I'm gonna hold on to Dark Shackle. If I use it, it's gone. If it goes into my discard pile, it'll come back eventually. 
Alright, he's gonna deal 18 here, so there's no avoiding that. We're gonna try and guard as much damage as we possibly can. <clears throat> Three. That's gonna leave a mark. This guy looks like a giant oven mitt. Interesting. Alright, let's leave this one up to... Oh! Bludgeon, that's gonna deal a lot. So let's do this. Do I have anything? Let's deal 9 damage. 13 damage. Um, augment plus. And deal 30. 48 damage to him. Dear God. And then. 9. But we're gonna take a heck of a hit here because I don't have anything to defend against him. And. Ugh. Vulnerable wears off crap. Alright, so we're gonna. Augment up here. I'm gonna deal the. 24 damage to him. My turn there. Siphons. Oh, so it looks like I gain one less block and my strength is decreased by one. Well, that's okay, because you're dead. Oof. Oh, hey, look at this. Strawberry, raise your max health by seven. So now I should have 90 health, and let's add a card to my deck. Okay, so these are all really good cards. Clash can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack and you deal 14 damage, which is good. Um, anger, deal 4 damage and place a copy of this card into your discard pile. And then again, an, arm an armaments, gain 5 block, upgrade a card in your hand. I like anger because it's going to place a copy in our hand, and in theory we could have like a whole hand of nothing but angers. Then we get a chest here. I'm going to head... I want to hit that bonfire again. Open it up. Ooh, this is cool. Upon picking up, choose a s choose and upgrade a skill. Oop, nope. Did I cancel that? What do I want to upgrade? Infernal Blade equaling zero. Yes. Basically a free turn I got there. Or a free attack I got there. I'm, get I'm digging, I'm digging. Slaver. I really want to make a horrible joke right now, but since I'm a bigger person, I'm not going to. Cleave. Deal seven damage to all enemies. Okay, why not? Seven. Block five. And we're going to bludgeon him. But I'm going to take a ton of damage in return, because, again, I don't have enough defense cards yet. <clears throat> Eight. So it looks like he's just going to use a inflict a negative effect on me. So let's try and deal as much damage to this guy as possible. So pretty much next turn he's going to die. Mm. Entangle. So I can't play attacks for a turn. Mm. So what I can do is I can dark shackle him so he basically will deal no damage to me. Armor up. And then turn. I hate the slavers because of that shackle attack or whatever it is. Oh, I've shackled the slaver. Ironic. Anger. Dead. Fatality. Dexterity potion. Add a card to my deck. Um, Gain two strength and at the end of your turn lose two strength. I guess that's not bad. Deal nine damage. Let's do flex. I want to rest. I'm not I'm playing this one. I'm playing this playthrough safe. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna hit the question mark. Ooh, a scenario. A gremlin is madly shuffling his cards. A harmless one, okay. That's 12 cards. Oh, these look like uh memorials to Bill Clinton. Reaper, okay. Finesse, Reaper. Oh. Reaper to Reaper. Clumsy to Bash. Bash to bash. Uh, 
Oh, so if I complete those, do I get those in my inventory now? That might be how that one works. Whoa, what are these? Upon death, applies two vulnerable to you for two turns. Okay, well, we're just going to... No, first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply vulnerable to this guy. So that way my... All subsequent damage will deal more. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Oops. I could have poisoned him and probably killed him, but I'm going to save the poison for... Oh gosh, just 12 damage right there. Um, Infernal Blade? Sure. Give me something free here. Ooh, Twin Strikes. That's really good. Apply four damage to everyone. Let's bash him in. And you're dead. Your boy's dead. 14 gold. Pick a card, any card. This is a good one. Shrug it off. Gain 8 block. Well, either way, it's going to lead us to the same route. We'll just pick that one. Oh, God. Slimes. Ooh, what's this? Uh, we must have gotten that from the card game. Deal 4 damage to all enemies. Heal for unblocked damage dealt. Let's see how that looks. Whoa. I'm back to full health. Not for long, however. Who's going to deal the most amount of damage to me? Well, it looks like you I can certainly kill. And I'm going to take an unrealistic amount of damage here. Ugh. And they're so slow about it. Alright. Let's flex. Gain two strength. Ooh, deal 11 damage and place a card from your discard pile. Let's murder this one, because it's going to deal the most. And then give me back... Flex, why not? Infernal Blade. That's going to deal 11 damage. Draw one card. Okay, 11 damage. Let's murder him. see what we get. So that's gonna... Oh, that would have upgraded a card if I had the ability to upgrade. Uh, yeah. Enter. So look at that. We, like, killed everybody with, like, some lucky card placement and some draws. Weakened. Okay, so I'm only weakened. That's not bad. Anger. Thunderclap. You're dead. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Add a card to my deck. Rage. Whenever you play... An attack gain. Whenever you play an attack, gain four block. Holy crap, that is good. But so is this. You know what? I'm gonna get rage. And I feel, and I think that's a persistent. I'm gonna smith here. We're gonna upgrade anger. Yeah. And boss fight. Oh god, this guy. He sucks. So I'm going to first upgrade... Uh, for, actually, no. First, I'm going to get a random attack. Body slam. Deal damage equal to your current block. That'll be really good here. Upgrade everything. Whenever you... So this will be a persistent power now. Whenever you play an attack, you gain 6 block. I'm going to deal 9 damage to him. And then I'm going to body slam him for 11. I shall end my turn. Oh, wait. Rage wears off. It's only a good for one. Okay, now I get it. So this guy's about to deal 32 damage for me, to me. And I really don't have a way to stop it. At the very least, buff up my strength. Do a perfect strike. Oh! Hey, I put him in defensive mode. Okay, so he's not going to hit us. Deal 11 damage to him. Let's bring back... Rage. There we go. 
So now what's stupid about this guy is whenever you play an attack, he t you take three damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some poison at him. So at least get some damage going on him. So what I'm going to hopefully do here is whenever I attack him, I'll gain some block. And I won't take that damage then. We'll see if it works like that. Yes, it does! Very nice. And I'm just going to end my turn here because I really don't have any way to deal with that. Six damage, very nice. He dealt six damage. Oh, I didn't realize he was going to attack there. Okay. Alright. I'm going to stomach the damage. It is only three after all, but that could mean I could take nine. I'm at least going to heal before I take three. I'm going to toss this potion at him. At this point, it's just dealing damage to him. Now he's going to hit me for 16 after taking five. Oh, God, that hurts. Now we've got a fair fight here. 40 health until he mode shifts. I'm going to shrug it off. Throw some angry at him. Dark shackle him, because I'm having none of his attack. Slice and dice, and I'm just going to burn this to burn it. He'll take four damage from the poison, and then 24 more damage until he... mode shifts. So what I could do... I'll just play this just to play it at this point. Attack him. Attack him. End my turn. He's gonna buff himself. Alright, so I gotta deal a lot of damage to him here to get him to change. Alright, so per perfected strike. There we go, got that mode shift. I'm gonna do anger to get another copy of it in my deck. And then I'm going to strike. Do I wanna strike? Or. Oh, I should have struck at the beginning. Oh well. Sharp hide, and is he going to attack this turn? Yes, he is going to attack for nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all these cards way better. Got five there. I am going to attack him and eat the damage just so I can get this anger card in here next. And I'm going to call it good. That's the last poison. Oof. Still got that talent thing going for him. I know I'm taking damage, and it's kind of stupid of me to keep on attacking him. So I'm about to take 16 damage. You know what? I'm going to stomach this like a man. Yep, yeah, that hurt. Mode shift. He's going to deal 20 here. So what can I do against that? At the very least, I can do this. Block 5. Deal 5. Hit him with a perfect, protect, a perfected strike. And then I'm going to take 15 damage here. That'll drop me down to 17. Oof. Okay, I really gotta be careful here now. 27 damage until he changes. Deal a headbutt here. Keep getting angers in. Now bash him in. 
gonna end my turn. We're gonna hope that we can do a heck of a lot of damage to him next turn. So it looks like he's gained some armor. So I'm going to flex. I'm going to thunderclap. So I'm going to punch him. Alright, cool. He's now in a different his different form. I'm just gonna defend here. Defensive mode, he's got 24 and then he's got his sharp spikes hitting and kicking in here. That's nine right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink this. So I gain more block. And it looks like I'm just gonna anger out here. And he's done. So you can see all the strategy that is involved in this game. Let's put some poison, add a card into my deck. Ooh. Oh, Juggernaut. Whenever you gain block, deal three damage to a random enemy. That's good. And final chest. Ooh. So you get to choose a relic, which kind of applies a permanent buff to us. Draw one card. Draw one less card each turn. I don't like any of these, really. Well, I guess potions always drop after combat. And proceed. Alright, guys. I'm going to end her right here. If you want to see more of this series, hit the like button. That'll let me know that this is interesting for people. And when we come back, we're going to try and challenge boss number two. So, until then... Be seeing you.